Hello everybody, welcome to the Showbo Sam YouTube channel. Today we're gonna be a little doing a little console mining slash public works. You see what I'm talking about when I get to the uh, actual mining area slash public works area. But yeah, um, so what we're gonna be, what we're gonna be doing is uh, gonna be digging it out with my favorite excavator, the Lizard 320. And like all the all the stuff you see is available on console except this truck. This F650 is not available on console. The Lizard, um, not the Lizard, the Phoenix Winter Wolf is available, just as well as this Volvo. Uh, Triaxle uh, Semi is available if you have the Platinum Expansion Pack. And this 50-foot gooseneck is available. This Lizard 50-foot gooseneck is available in the uh, in-game mod, in mod browser as well as the 320. So everything's available except the usual, my, the pickup truck that I use in every video. So um, let's get into it. So we're going to be driving down to field, I think it's just above field 177. It's a little rough getting in, getting to, so I don't even know if I can make it in there with this truck. So if not, I got a backup. I'll bring the old Winter Wolf out and get her hooked up, and I'll surely make it in there with that. So um, let's get into it. I already got a semi down there, the Max Superliner, with an end dump to load the uh, stone into. So let's get into it. Oh, I can't do that. There we go. Thing fired up. I gotta back up a little, back out a little bit because uh, it's, it's pretty loud. But uh, she seems to be pulling this thing all right. Doing a heck of a job pulling this heavy trailer. And I like this 50 foot gooseneck because it's 100% custom, customizable. So you can paint it the same color as your truck, just like you see. You see, I have it here. Like I say, that gooseneck trailer is in the mod browser. If not, it's F650. So I'm going to have to pull up my map here so I can see when I need to turn. Because i got to turn between field 170 and 173. So um, as we pass here, let's see, around one field 164, that's the, the debris crusher. So when you dig the stone out, you can come sell it right over here, just up here a little bit. Maybe turn in right there. Yeah, you turn in back there. Yes. Yeah, you can turn in back there, and there's the debris pressure right there on your right. Turn in back where we, that driveway we passed. So, so I got to turn between 170 and 173. So we're just gonna cruise along. This is a pretty setup. I like this color. All right, so there's our turn right there. On the all right, so I'm gonna take up this lane right here, see if I can swing it on in there. Oh no, she act like she wants to flip. Come on, get on up there. There we go. All right, she made it. <laughs> oh, got a little sideways for a minute there, but we made it just fine. So, what I'm gonna have to do is because I can't pull down in there, so I'm going to have to back, kind of like park up here on the side, and just drive the excavator down on in there, because I already got a semi down in there. I'll catch y'all kind of trouble trying to get this one in there, so maybe I can, well, I know it's a fence right there, gosh darn it. Um, maybe I can just do a loop. Try to loop around. I'm, I'm running over everybody's crops, but it's all right. They know I mean well. I'm just trying to help. All right, so I got this turned around. I'll go ahead and unfasten the tension belts and unfold the old trailer and hop out of here. Hop in the old excavator. Raise it up. Like I gotta say, this is my very favorite. Escafeda. I don't know why. I just, I don't know, man. It's just functions are just so easy, just so easy to use. It just works so great, you know. And as you can see, uh, we got us a problem here. Like I said, that's why I say it's a public works, public works slash mining map, <laughs> because this would be considered storm water by it being a waterfall right there and stone being in the water 
So um, I've already purchased the property. You got to always remember to purchase the property. And um, I've already purchased it. And basically all I got to do is just dig it, dig it on out of here. Get all this stuff cleared out of here. It isn't a whole lot, but um, it's enough to keep you busy for a while. It's at least, I would say, five truckloads, five or six truckloads, semi, these semi truckloads. And this holds, I think, 90,000 units, this truck here. So let's get her. Get into it. Oh, all right. Let's see here. Oh, shoot. This trailer's a little higher than I thought. Kind of mis misread that, but it's all right. Keep in the trailer. Come on, do it. So yeah, so basically you would just get her loaded up. Nope, don't drive too deep in the water. All right, you got it. Oops. All right, so we're getting it done. Like I say, it's probably about five or six. Five or six truckloads. And as you can see, oops. Ooh, about to flip the whole truck over. This thing's strong, man. I've, I've pushed out. I've pushed equipment out with this. I've, I've done a, a lot with this excavator. I, I, I really enjoy using this excavator. They did a good job with this one. Really good job. I've used some other PC mod excavators like Cats and Matsus. And there's one that's a Cat 385, but it's a PC mod. And that's the only one that I would pick over this Lizard excavator. As far as like uh, the way it functions, it's just that one. Uh, it works a lot better with when I use my joysticks. Um, I don't use them often, but when I want to get serious and play, I'll use them. Oh, oh! I'm gonna flip this trailer over just yet. <laughs> Man. But yeah, I love this excavator, man. I I I uh I encourage everybody to use this one. Komatsu just doesn't I, I don't know, it just just doesn't feel the same, you know. Once you get used to it, it's a piece of cake. I really should be using like an end dump. I mean, not an end dump, but a uh, off-road dump. It's a lot easier to load one of those versus uh, this particular this particular trailer. So I'm gonna stop right there. Actually, let's just see. I'm just gonna conduct an experiment to see if how far I can uh, pull into the uh, water. in there pretty good. Let's see what happens. She stops then, you know, oh. She made it across. I don't know how deep, it's just too deep, but I was gonna say come from the other side with another excavator, but that's kind of steep over there. 
So I don't know how that will work out, but uh, as you can see, I made it across. So I think you'll be all right driving across this water because at some point you got to, I mean, just to, to get everything. You know, you get those little uh, messages that say don't drive too deep. At some point you got to drive, you know, to make sure you get everything, you know. So yeah. So I think yeah, I think you'll be just fine driving across. Um, this this giving you the message, but I don't see it going under. So you can just sit here and load or however you want to do it. Um, I just tried this end dump out. It's a little high, so you'd probably be better off using the off-road dump or um, maybe even the. Uh, TLX with the dumper body on it, even even using that. But um, yeah, that's pretty cool. I like them. I mean, this it's my favorite escalator. So if you see me using it a lot, that's because I like it. <laughs> so I'm not completely full. I mean, I'm, I'm actually I'm nowhere near full. I'm like a quarter of the way full. But I'm gonna go ahead and. Uh, oops, I didn't do that. Jeez, please. There we go. I'm gonna go ahead and. Uh, pull out of here and show you guys where the uh, debris crusher is where you can sell this stuff after you dig it out so a full load you probably have a little harder time pulling out but this thing's pretty strong this uh, this um, super liner and I think we got enough room to squeeze by yeah I'm all right it's right on by I had the old uh, TLX Winter Wolf on standby just in case she didn't want to pull out. So I was going to grab the old TLX and get her pulled out of there. But it'll be a little harder pulling out if you, once you got a full load. See, as you can see, I'm just, you know, a couple of scoops. I ain't got much in there, but you know, she did great. All right, perfect. The old tri -axle. And this is the 48 foot, this is the 48 foot end dump with the uh, triaxle set up and I don't even have the third axle down. Don't really I don't have anything in it so I really don't need to put it down. But that third axle dropping it, it does help with stability and all that stuff. So that's cool to do. So we're gonna pull into the old debris crusher and I'll sell what I got, which ain't much. It's something different now we digging, you know excavating out of oh man this is gonna be a real deal turn here yeah. oh boy I might have to uh, go around I don't think I'm gonna make it in there that car's in the way might have to pull down here a little bit further drive around this field come in the back way I think that's what I'll do. Turn here. If I can go around. Might be a fence on the other end. But that's another reason why you want to use <laughs> just a regular old dump truck instead of trying to use a semi. Let me see if I can just cut across right here. I want to mess up these people feel too bad. Oh man, that didn't do any good. Oh, don't tell me there's a fence up. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. What did I hit? There's fences everywhere. What's with all this fence? Alright, go around this way because if I go through, there's a fence. This is a pain. <laughs> well, so yeah, that's that's uh you know even more reason to use what? I guess we can scratch that idea. There's fence all over the place. Look at this. I hope I can get through here. I can just cut back up. It don't look like it's a fence over there. I'm sorry everybody for all this. I didn't I didn't uh, map it out before I start videoing so before before I started recording. So it looks like I can get in this way. So alright. From this street here. 
Alright. So instead of passing, you just turn at the first street <laughs> and cut across this street. What? Still a fence? You gotta be kidding me. Oh, well. So it is where you would sell it. Because <laughs> I'm not going to be able to back in. I, I can't pull in there anyway, with, not with this trailer. Um, so that's where you would sell it, the debris crusher. Right at the right at field uh, 164. And like I said, the uh, the actual spot is at field between 170 and 173. Turn in, follow the road around, and you run right into it. Um, oh, that sucks, because I really wanted to show you guys to sell it, but... Oh well. Man, why they make it so tight like that? Man, that's what that's strange. There's no other way to get in here. I just jumped right over the fence. Yep. Yeah. That sucks, man. Oh well. But yep, so this is the debris crush you would sell the stone at. And I don't know why that canister's there with pallets in it, but yeah, there's no way I could make that turn. I could have pulled in. Maybe if I backed in. No. I just don't think I got enough room. Or if I backed in, then... No, it's just too long. So, yeah. I wanted to show you guys, but... Yeah, I should have I should have brought just a regular dump truck, like the Mac RD or something like that. But uh, it's okay. You guys get the picture. So yeah, uh, this has been another great video, the Showbo Sam YouTube channel, and uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. Man, I like that color. Like and subscribe, um, and I'll see you guys on the next one. It's been a great time. Remember the map. Remember you have to purchase the property first. All that stuff. The map is called um, Another World, the Another World map. So, all right, it's been great, man. Remember to like and subscribe. See you guys on the next one. Showboat out. Peace.